YouTube. This is Zach with Savage Traveling, coming to you from Trang, Vietnam. I'm staying in the Dubai Hotel. It's obviously literally, what, 300 meters from the beach or something like that. This is a really nice place. I scored this one on booking.com for $8 a night. I initially only booked one night, and then when I got here and seen what I was working with, I went down and I was like, hey, can I get another night? I think I'll hang out here and uh, soak up this beach for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, that's a great room. I slept well last night. Uh, double bed because I like to use one for like you know working in the day and eating and I you know leave the other one just for sleep uh, great aircon works great the Wi-Fi it is uploading my video uh, so I'm it's awesome you know what I mean TV didn't use that much super probably the best shower I've ever had in Southeast Asia I, I I've been over here a few times now and uh, it's like that waterfall style, but it is, it must, like they must be using a boiler because it's, uh, it's, it's hot. It's not that like on demand hot. You know what I'm saying? If, if you've been over here, you know what I'm saying? Um, like right down below is a nice little like tourist street, well, a tourist street, but there's a lot of little tourist things, little food shops, you know, little, uh, snack shops where you can get beer, water, uh, tourist garb, massages, yada, yada. We'll check it out here when I wrap this, uh, this little uh, review up but uh yeah guys for eight dollars a night i don't think i can go wrong um really a classy joint i think like all the you know most of the hotels on this area probably follow the same about like this i think uh, they look like it like there's like one right next door it's a mirror image of this hotel so i wouldn't be surprised if they build them at the same time and they look exactly the same but yeah we're gonna go downstairs and uh, we're gonna mill around and look for something to eat maybe I'd like to pick up a couple t-shirts before I leave because in the case I don't get a chance to do any laundry again, at least I'll have some clean t-shirts to, uh, you know, you know, destroy those. So, um, I'll catch you guys downstairs and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, see what's happening in the Trang this afternoon. Okay guys, I'll see you in a bit. Peace. All right, let's do this guys. That's what it looks like from the outside, guys. I mean, you could get away with just staying right here if you wanted to, but this is a pretty big city with lots to do. Quite a bit busier down here yesterday. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So when I showed up yesterday afternoon, I could barely get my bike down here. There was so much action and people, you know, going about their tourism, <laughs> I guess you say. You got a uh, sun beers there. They sat out in the heat all day. I, would, I wouldn't recommend getting those big beer Saigons if I was you. I'd probably avoid the sun beers, you know what I mean? So, beyond that, definitely about everything you could need right there if you were uh, not wanting to travel too far from the room. But, like I said, this is just in a trang in the afternoon, guys. We're gonna walk a ways and just see what we can see. I've been down here a few times since yesterday. Uh, I got up and got breakfast. And then I slept. Okay, I shot the intro to this video and then I literally slept till like an hour ago. So uh, I guess the ride's starting to catch up with me. Damn that sun, I don't know if that's doing you guys any justice, but I didn't count on that.
So forgive me if that's a little bright. Hopefully I can get across the street here to avoid it a little bit. There we go. That's a close one. Um, it is like uh, there's more tourists here than in any of the cities I've been in yet. That is readily apparent. <laughs> you know, but it's good to see some life because I was kind of wondering about those other cities and if they had rebounded, but this one definitely has. I mean, I saw, where have I stayed so far? Uh, well, I mean, Dalat, I guess, is the only bigger city I've stayed in, but I didn't see many foreign tourists there at all. Like, very few, a handful, if. Yeah. This place is a little different. Like I said, it, it, it's easy to get anything you need here if you're like, like on a motorbike trip like me and then uh, you need to like, you know, resupply. Definitely do it here. If you're gonna head into the mountains like me up to Mangden tomorrow, that's an eight hour ride. I have a room booked, a private room booked. It looks nice. I'm gonna stay there one night because to get to Da Nang from Mangden is like four or five hours. So I think I think I can manage an eight hour ride then a five hour ride. And then I probably will take a break again in Da Nang. getting us again. There's prices for coffee, Americano 40,000, cappuccino 50, latte 50, assault coffee, I don't know what that is, 50. So what, uh, two bucks-ish, I think. I think 20,000 dongs, like a dollar, correct me if I'm wrong. Something close to that. Uh, I basically parked the bike yesterday and I haven't moved it, but with me, everything I need is within walking distance and I don't mind walking, so I'll save the riding. Uh, hello, no thank you. I save the riding for uh, like between destinations being I have huge lengths to go, you know what I mean? I get enough riding in on my riding days that I don't really need to deal with this traffic if I don't want to. And I, like I said, I love walking. If you watch my videos, I, love, I, I don't mind walking miles in the heat in the cold whatever you know got to keep that blood pumping somehow burger bar I, and I, I thought that said something different <laughs> yeah. just a hectic old Vietnamese city guys uh, a lot of Chinese and Russian tourists I'm sure Everybody else sprinkled in there, but it's hard to tell, you know. Let's, uh, uh, we'll keep going straight. Seems like there's more action this way. I don't know, we might take a bike ride later. I'm just not a big fan at riding at night over here. 
um, for the fact that uh, my night vision can be questionable, but it's more the fact that everybody's drinking and riding motorbikes around. And, uh, I'd rather not take part in the collateral damage that could come from even as a sober rider participating in riding at night while everybody else is not well not everybody but there's going to be a big percentage of people with alcohol in their system and i'd rather not become a statistic don't become a statistic when you're over here because everybody just like if you watch like the news on like facebook where people are like oh foreigner gets creamed on motorbike now he's in hospital and he can't afford they can't afford to fly him home because he's like incapacitated in the hospital bed people just laugh at you they don't feel bad for you so i mean that should go without saying but not how i want to end my trip you know what i'm saying i'd rather uh, return the bike to the uh rental shop in one piece and me especially in one piece and a good way to do that is not ride at night i mean if you look at the accidents that happen in places it's usually a foreigner drunk at night all right let's get off this let's go down this side street so we can so you can hear me because i don't know if you could hear anything i said during that whole walk there because traffic is loud but as soon as you you know you got the madness of the main street there and you can hop off that And end up somewhere quiet and quaint real easily if you wanted to like you know some bond me over there at the uh the little sit down stall or one of the hundreds of other you know local or foreigner food type restaurants i mean this is definitely a place if you didn't want to travel like all around the country you could come here and get do about everything you could do you know what i mean And it's actually like, a, I would say on average, it's like a few degrees cooler than Ho Chi Minh City. It was like 92 today. Down there, it's like 96. So, you know, it's all in what you want. There's a motorbike like mine. Uh, like I said, coffee cafes they probably outnumber restaurants you know what i mean that's oh, much quieter back here but just you know not as much going on either There's one problem I had, it's not really a big problem, but uh, I have this uh, like hankering for the Tiger beer, the brand Tiger, and I went to two restaurants. Now, I've treated myself twice in the past like four days at like a, like a steak house slash, I mean, it's definitely like an American style thing, uh, but they all, you know, all they had was like import beers, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to drink like, a 75 cent tiger beer Fuck. let's go this way uh no sense of going that way with a, a bunch of school kids coming out of school i don't really need to film them or you know what i mean like it's kind of weird <laughs> but yeah I, you know i try to eat nice two times in the past four or five days where i was like you know let's go out and have like some Australian beef and a baked potato or whatever. And that was great. The food, the food's always, the food's been great, but I'm like, hey, can I get a tiger beer? And they're like, we don't have that. We have Heineken and uh, I don't know, 
this is stuff I, I can drink at home, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to start eating a little bit more local if I wanna drink a local beer. No big deal, it just kind of caught me off guard for some reason. I figured everybody would have Tiger or Beer Saigon, you know what I mean? But I guess if they're, you know, marketing to a foreigner crowd, maybe they just don't sell as many, you know, maybe foreigners go after the, the local beers from their home more so. Doesn't make much sense to me, but whatever. Yeah, this is just a, a random walk around the train, guys. There's no rhyme or reason to do a massage. No rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I just wanted to, you know, give a room review and then go walk around a little bit because I'm leaving in the morning. And it's an eight hour ride up to Mangden. And it's basically in the middle of nowhere. So we'll see what they have to offer, you know what I mean? Said it just goes on and on and on like you think you know it's like a little bit busy down there where i am and you might think that's like the center or something like that but it's not it's just another neighborhood where they pack tourists in and try to take as much money from them as they can while they're here you know it's a it works <laughs> let's head up here and i'll end this with a beach shot I don't think we're I don't think we're terribly far from the ocean. Maybe a few more minute walk. Actually, it looks way down there. So, we'll go a couple more minutes. I don't know if we'll make it all the way to the ocean. Maybe I'll walk down there and throw a clip in just so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Because it is quite impressive. Uh Natrang Beach. It's uh it's really nice. It's one of those places I see why it's so popular. You got the summer weather. It's not as hot as Ho Chi Minh City. I mean, it's up there. It's still 92 or whatever, but it's just a little bit less. I mean, maybe because the sea breeze, the, uh, the humidity is just a little less, and that might be what I'm hinting to. Real fresh, fresh fruit market. Just walk out in front of them. They don't want to hit you. Now they might, but they don't want to. <laughs> oh yeah. Get some action down here. Still hunting t-shirts. T-shirts, sunscreen. That's probably what I'm looking for tonight. After I get a some dinner. Oh yeah. It smells fresh down here, guys. Yeah, I should be able to find, maybe be able to find some, some t-shirts back here. Oh, they smell clammy. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's, it's cooler than Ho Chi Minh, but not by much. I still got my sweat going good. Ah, uh, chickens. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Oh, this 
market's huge. Definitely the place to come if you want bulk fresh fruit, vegetables, bulk chickens, probably just about anything you could need. Candy, flowers for your girlfriend, or whatever. Oh, a 7-Eleven? I have not seen one of those. It's not even 7-Eleven. It used to be a 7-Eleven, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Wow, I think that used to be a 7-Eleven. I haven't seen a 7-Eleven. I don't know if they have them here. We will step up here a moment. to get some thumbnail poses in there i'm trying to be more conscious about that because i have trouble finding thumbnails most of my videos because i don't pose for them i just kind of pick them out of the action and probably help if i put a little forethought into it we'll see this time no promises <laughs> i know i think that's what i should uh change my travel channel to call it you know like anthony bourdain had no reservations and uh, mine would be like savage traveling, no promises. Because <laughs> I am inconsistent. I meant to finish this video way earlier this morning, well, this afternoon, and I, I fell asleep for like four hours, but I clearly needed it because I feel great now. So, you know, it's just the way it is. Okay, guys, I think we're coming to the end of anything interesting. Well, at least, you know, comparatively. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching to come along with this little walk around the train. I know it's simple and sweet, but, you know, it's the way it is right now. I'm, I'm riding eight hours tomorrow from the train to Mang Din. And um, I'm gonna try to do a little riding video. I haven't done much riding videos yet. So maybe tomorrow we'll get one of those in and uh, you can see what it looks like between the train and Mangden. So, and then from Mangden we'll make it to Da Nang the day after or so and then, then we're halfway, at least to Hanoi. And then we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, I appreciate you for watching. If this is your first time to the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you've been here for a while, you know how much I appreciate you guys. So uh, thanks again and peace.